Namaste yogis. Welcome to your Monday mini practice. I'm Carter and today's practice is uh, yoga for runners, hence the track pants and the running shoes. Let's get to our mat. All right, yogis, uh, let's come to the front of our mat. Separate your feet a little bit wider than the hips. Roll your heels out. Uh, bend the knees just a little bit so you can get the belly button towards the thighs. Release your arms, tuck your chin. And play a little bit here by swaying the hips, bending and straightening the knees a few. We're addressing the glutes and the hamstrings. So when you bend and straighten the knees, you'll find that connection from the hamstrings to the glutes. Tuck the chin, let the blood get to the brain, sway the hips a little bit, and start to breathe deeply. We are creating the foundation for a running practice, and we want to expand our breath pattern, as well as make sure the body is open and available, those areas that we use a lot of, right? This is the legs, it's the hips, it's the hamstrings, it's the quadriceps. Nice so heel toe, your feet a little bit closer together. Straighten those knees and lift those hips the best you can. They may not get straight, and that's okay. And then bend your knees enough to plant the hands. Step your right foot back. Drop your right knee down, point your right toes, and lift your torso on up. Support your right kneecap if it's a little sensitive, but roll over your right toes. Hips are sinking forward and down. So you're starting to feel that right quadricep and the right hip flexor. You're going to draw your, ro your lower belly and ribs in, and then you're going to find that spot where it's just right. So if rolling the toes under is not feeling good for you, then just point the toes so you can kind of feel what's going on with the ankle as well as the quadricep, right? So if you point the toes a little bit higher up on the, the quadricep, if you roll the toes under a little bit more down towards the knee or the, quadricep, the middle of the quadricep. So a breath or two here. Let's do a little bit with the arms. Let's interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades, straighten the elbows, right? So we don't want to forget about the arms. And then more importantly, let's not forget about the breath pattern. So big inhale, slow exhale. So as we start to do a little pranayama practice, we can allow ourselves to, the foundation of expanding our capacity for breathing. Release your arms, surround the left foot, and then draw those hips back as the left knee gets a little bit straighter. Now let's roll onto the heel and flex that foot. Now, you don't have to practice with shoes on, although if you're ready to run right after, it's a good idea, right? You're done with the practice, hop up, and run away. Bend and straighten the knee again. We're getting the hamstrings, but we're isolating now. As you flex your foot, it'll show up in the calf, and we want to make sure our calves are taken care of. Knee is starting to straighten as you can feel that hamstring connection to the glute, maybe the lower back. And you can even roll your toes a little right and left so you can kind of get the whole sense of that left hamstring. And then bend that left knee, plant the foot down. Take the left hand inside the left foot. Roll onto the outside of the foot. Let that knee drop open now. We're starting to um, move into the hips a little bit in this left, uh, left thigh IT band, maybe even the groin a little bit. And you're just going to rock a little bit from side to side. This is a good practice to do before and after your run. So... We're going to make sure that we're nice and warm after we run. Great idea to actually do this practice after. All right. Hands underneath shoulders. Roll over your right toes. Lift your right knee. Step that left foot back. Down dog. So again, we're addressing the backs of the legs. The calves, backs of the knees. You can start to press the tops of the thighs back. Fronts of the shins back. Shake the head. Soften the jaw. Wag the tail. <sighs> I have to be honest with you guys. I haven't practiced with shoes on maybe ever. This may be my first time practicing with shoes on. <laughs> All right. Let's lift that right heel towards the ceiling. Step your right foot forward. Drop the left knee. Point the left toes. Come on up. 
So again, let's find this left quadriceps. So with the toes pointed, it's going to be a little bit higher up on the quadriceps, it's like the hip flexor. If you roll the toes under, a little bit more towards the middle of the quadricep. Hips sink forward and down. And the reason why we want to rotate your pelvis forward is that ignites that quadricep. So if you're pushing forward and you're not rolling that uh, pelvis forward, you're going to get this really big curvature in the back. So I'm not really concerned about how far you go into the pose. Um, I'm, I really want to find out what's going on with the quadricep and the hip flexor. And we want to make sure that that is open a little bit. Let's drop the hands again. Let's interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades, straighten the elbows. Move the head. Mm, relax your jaw. And breath. Mm. And then when you're ready, bring the hands down around that right foot. Draw the hips back. Roll onto your right heel. And as you flex your foot, you'll show up a little bit in the calf. And you can bend and straighten the knees. You can move the hips around. So it's right hamstring, back of the knee, right um, calf, glute, lower back. And a moment. Breath or two. And again, big inhales, slow exhales. And a nice way to expand the capacity of breathing is breath retention. So inhale and hold the breath. Exhale and then hold the breath. So when you're on your run, you're going to establish that really deep inhalation and exhalation. Hips sink forward. Take your right hand in the inside of the right foot. Sink that left leg as far forward as you can. Scoot your right foot forward so the ankle's in front of the knee. Roll onto the outside of the foot. And then you can check out the bottom of your running shoe. Do you need new running shoes? Maybe. It's important to have some nice shoes. A little bit of movement from side to side. Be careful that you're not rolling the ankle. So you want to flex the foot so the ankle is supported. You want you to bring your awareness to your right groin uh, outside of the right thigh, which is the IT band, the right glute, or maybe even the crease of the right hip. And a breath or two here. And this is just a quick warm-up before we run or after we run. You can always stay longer in these poses. I personally, before I do any running or rollerblading or skating, I spend about a half hour in warming up the body because my body just needs, just been abused it over the years. All right, so hands under shoulders, roll over your left toes, lift your left knee, step your right foot back, down dog. Long spine, pedal feet, knees, wag your tail, shake your head. So any movement that feels right. Big inhale, slow exhale. All right, and drop your knees down. Keep your knees about hips distance or even farther apart. Draw your hips down in between the feet. Now, if your knees are sensitive, you may need to slide a pillow or a blanket or a block, or you could rest on the heels, if that's better, like in hero's pose, so if that feels better for you. So find the one that works well, and then you're going to ease into this pose. So the first variation would be hands behind you, fingertips facing away from you. Lift the chin, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So this, is, this may be the first one. Again, maybe something underneath the hips. If you're needing a little bit more, lower your elbows down towards the floor. And then if you still need more, you can lower all the way down to the floor. Now, this is too much for me. You can tell by the curvature of my back. So I need to go up a little bit. So once you find the pose that's not too much at all on the knees, but not too much sensation, you're going to rotate your pelvis towards the ceiling. So you're going to tuck the tailbone and then press the knees into the ground, you'll feel it in the quadriceps. So the quadriceps are really a big part of our running regime. One more breath. So wherever you are, you're going to slowly bring yourself on up. Hands are coming down into table. A round or two, a cat cow. Wag the tail. 
Move the head and relax the jaw. Let's go into down dog. Lift the hips, pedal feet and knees. And let's just do a little pigeon pose. So right shin comes forward. Lay the left knee down. Lengthen through torso. Um, we're not even going to come forward. We're just dropping the hips. We're walking the hands back. We're lengthening through the torso. So this is left hip flexor. If you don't feel enough in the right hip, scoot your right foot forward. Square the hips again. Lengthen. Just a moment. Walk your hands to the right. Bend the left knee. If it's available, right hand reaches back. Heel towards tailbone. Exhale, let it go. Let's go back into down dog. So roll over the left toes. Step the right foot back. Pedal feet and knees. And then bring the left shin forward. Drop the right knee. Point the right toes. And again, lengthen through torso. So walk the hands back. Lift the heart. And if you're not feeling enough in the left hip, scoot the left foot forward. So the shin comes a little bit farther forward. Lengthen again. Mm. Hips drawing towards the floor. Uh, pelvis is square or perpendicular to the floor. Mm. Walk the hands to the left. Little twist if it's available. Right knee bends. Left hand reaches back. Heel towards tailbone or glute. Right hip bone dropping towards the floor. You can gaze underneath that left shoulder. Exhale, let it go. Back to down dog. Roll over the right toes. Lift the right knee. Left foot steps back. Bend right knee, bend left knee. A little wag of the tail. Shake the head. And then slowly start to walk your feet towards your hands. Come up halfway as you flatten your back. Sway the hips. Exhale, fold forward. Tuck the chin. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Shake it all out. Nice work, yogis. Have a good run. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this practice. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself. Peace.